Hey YouTube, this is Quaker from Next Gen Windows. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving break. Thanksgiving, if you were, if you weren't in school, like I was in college, but I got a break. Uh, I'm gonna start you guys off with an app review that I haven't done in a while. Uh, this app review is actually Evernote. Evernote came to Windows 8 finally, so every anyone with a smartphone had that has Evernote and uses it, all of your stuff syncs together, and it comes it just comes through seamlessly as everyone knows if you have used Evernote before now this is the app icon for Evernote let me click into Evernote and I signed in you can see my two Evernotes I've been using this to actually you know get articles and stuff that I should uh, follow up on and uh, do videos on for news now this is the Evernote main screen it's not, it looks pretty plain as you can see but it has just the notes and then the date and then you can click on, you can right click or just hold down and drag down to check off whatever note you decide to choose. And then you have these options at the bottom, which I won't delete it. And then if you swipe up from the bottom or the top, you get this menu right here. You get your all notes, notebooks, and tags. All notes is basically this right here. I don't have a lot of notes. Uh, if you right click again, notebooks takes you to the notebook screen when you click on your notebook it brings up the notes and then the tags if you set tags on your notes you can view them there it's pretty straightforward and then now going to the bottom you can sort each of your notes by name date updated and date created you can sync your notes so in case you recently used say your iPad or your uh, Microsoft Surface to sync any notes you can bring it over to your computer and you have it all right here in one uh, you got your new photo if you want to take a photo and add it to Evernote you can do that and then you can have new note when you click on new note it brings up a list a little list of your notebook or you can add you can tap to add tags so if I can add a tag say Windows and then a tag is selected so whenever I want to choose this tag I can do that click away the windows tag comes up and then if we want to view my notebook I can click my notebook do does the same thing and then you can start typing away so it can be like the quick brown fox that usual sentence with the quick brown fox I'm not gonna type the whole thing dot 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 and then you can hit this check button or if you don't like it you can hit this X button I'll just hit the check button to show you guys and then you noticed a new date showed up underneath my notebook at the exact time and it tells you that I typed the quick brown fox right there when we go back and we go back one more just to go back to the home screen you can see my new note is right here now now if I want to edit that note you can easily do that and yes this part right here is editable if it has a the hand icon it's editable uh, if it has this you can just you know add tags to it so if I want to change this to sentence it does it and then you just click away and it's done it and it works pretty well as you can see it showed up perfectly if we open a web page if we show a web page that I saved you can view the web page right here this is exactly what the web page looked like the important information out of it and if you want to actually view this uh, note in the browser you can just click on the note and it brings up uh, Internet Explorer your, or whatever your default browser is so you can see it brought up Engadget we go back to Evernote. Uh, another thing you can do is when you, you can, the one thing you can't do is actually you can share. You can share stuff before it wasn't working. I'm not sure how come it didn't work, but now you can share this article for some reason that's in Evernote to Evernote. It doesn't make any sense, but I guess it. I guess people who are pretty uh, scared that it didn't save properly, you can reshare it to yourself. You can mail the article, and so on. And also another thing you can do is you can view your account info, customer service, privacy policy. Privacy policy goes to the web browser, legal information as you can see, um, rate and review takes you to the Windows Store. So if you go to the Windows Store, you can rate and review it. And then if we go back, you can view permissions. You can choose what to allow it to use. So you can choose to allow it to use a webcam and microphone. That way, if you choose to you can see right here new photo if you choose to add a new photo it'll ask you do you want to 
edit you want to allow permission to use your microphone and camera and if you choose to allow that then you can and then it allows you to take a photo or audio recording and bring it into Evernote so that way it say it's a reminder or whatever uh, and this is Evernote for Windows 8 and it's a lot of stuff you can do with it in fact one last thing that you can do with it that I didn't think about is you can share web pages to Evernote so for instance if I go to Internet Explorer and I decide to you can choose share right here and it shares to Evernote or if you go to the desktop itself and then I go to say the browser what you have to do is you go here and you get the Evernote web clipper you just go to evernote.com and then you can look for the web clipper it'll tell you where it is I'm not sure exactly in fact the app itself oh it's down here Evernote web clipper when you click that it knows which browser you're using or you can choose say if you use Safari you can choose to put it in Safari uh, get the web clipper and then with that it allows you to add any web page to Evernote so if I want to right click now now that I got it Evernote web clipper clip this page uh, clipped it says you must sign in to clip to Evernote button before you can make clips so basically right here on the corner you clip to Evernote you just wait for it to waiting for page and then whenever it finishes could not start reload the page you try again we're gonna see if this thing works and then it tells you to sign in but when you sign in then it finally allows you to bring the page into Evernote right here and then it shows up like one of these things you can see what it looks like in two different articles that I brought up but essentially this is all Evernote is it's not it's not like a crazy hefty app it doesn't take up that much space and it's gotten like three or four stars on the Windows Store